Hi, I'm Carlos Delgado from Actelser, and today, together with Jordi, we'll explain to you in an easy and simple way how to install plastic fiber optic in a professional way. So, why cable when we can have Wi-Fi? Well, cable is much more reliable, stable, and fast than a wireless connection such as Wi-Fi. As an example, the connection between continents is made by cable below the oceans. If what we want in our home is to have an efficient, fast connection, and above all, take advantage of 100% of the megabytes that we pay our internet service provider for, what we are going to explain may interest you. Here, you can see all the necessary elements for this plastic fiber optic installation. We have the two converters that we'll use at the input of our plastic fiber optic and at the output with its three connectors to connect our devices later. We also have the power cable and charger, as well as two UTP patch cords to connect our PCs or for connecting to the router. Here we have the plastic optical fiber. That's the one that we'll use to join the two elements. The cutter that will help us cut the fiber at the distance we need, as well as a screwdriver in case we have to remove a cover or a box. And above all, and now this is very important, the guide which is what will help us pass the plastic optical fiber through the existing conduits that we have in our home. As I've told you, to do this installation, Jordy, a professional, will help us. He'll be especially helpful in passing the plastic optical fiber through the existing ducts of this duplex to reach a room in which we do not have an internet connection. As you can see, here we have the router, which in this case is from Movistar and we have what would be the plastic fiber optic converter. We will connect its power supply through the cable, and we will plug it into a socket, and we will connect to one of the free ports of our router. Now, Jordi will help us send the plastic fiber optic signal that we will introduce here inside. Jordi has shortened it, and I'll show you how easy it is to connect. It is simply inserted into the two fibers inside. We press the piece back, remaining caught and strong. It's that simple. Now Jordi will lift these plugs and boxes and will pass the fiber optic through the ducts of this duplex until he reaches that room that does not have internet access. As we have explained here, we already have what our fiber optic transmitter would be connected to, our router with the indicated cable. And now what we're going to do with Jordi is to pass the plastic fiber optic through the plugs and pipes that we have at home. Now we will remove what is in the box. We will remove, for example, a plug, and we'll take advantage of any existing tube to pass our plastic optical fiber through. Once Jordi has passed the guide through the conduit, what we have to do is tape our plastic optical fiber to the guide, and thus we can pass it through the conduit through which we've passed the guide once we have taped the fiber optic to the guide. Jordi has gone down to the ground floor. He will start shooting. I will help him from up here. In this case, he is pulling, and as you can see, the fiber and the guide have passed through this conduit very well. It is not a very large conduit but it should not have many corners, and it is quite simple. If at any time you have some kind of difficulty with passing the guide or the fiber through the tube, maybe because it is full of other electrical cables or because it passes a corner, you can help with some type of professional liquid health product, which helps lower the cable. Now we are on the ground floor, and here Jordi has managed to bring the fiber and the guide to this box, and now from this box we will go to the sockets in the room where we want to put the other fiber optic terminal. To do this, Jordi once again takes the head of the guide into the tube through the appropriate conduit, and we begin to pass it through, while I go quickly to the other end to pick up the tip of the guide. We already have our optical fiber here at the point where we want to connect it. As you can see, there is one of the two fibers, which is the one that is flashing red, and this has that connection at the receiver. This is very important. It means that at the other end is our transmitter. Remember that we have connected upstairs, and what we will do now is make a cleaner cut of it. It is always important to end cuts so that the purity of the fiber, or rather its impurities, do not harm us in what is the transmission of data. 
In this connector, you will see a T of transceiver, transmitter, and an R receiver or receiver. In this case, the pair that is flashing has to go with the receiver and the pair that is not flashing in the transmitter. We closed the connector, and at this moment, we have just brought the maximum speed that we have contracted with our provider to this point in the house where we did not have internet access. In this case, for example, we could already connect a computer at this point with a normal network patch cord. Now, I want to show you how to check that the connection is correct. You can verify this LED here in green. In the event that the connection between the two fiber converters is not correct, I reverse it, which is the sender with the receiver. This LED, this area here that should light green, is not on. If right now I reconnect it in the correct conditions, this LED can light up. This is a good experiment to know that the fiber optic connection between the two devices has been made correctly. We are now reaching the end of this installation, and I would like to just show you two more things before saying goodbye. The first is that, as I have explained, we have connected the computer to our converter, and I want to show you how we have internet access. Obviously, the Wi-Fi is canceled, we've deactivated it, and we are going to do a speed test in this home. There are 100 megabytes contracted, and as you can see, we are getting all the megabytes that we're paying our company for. That means this computer that previously did not have internet has 100% of the connection. It is very good that this computer is connected, but obviously we all carry a mobile phone in our pockets. And not only do I have to connect this computer, but I have to allow all devices to connect. For this, we can use Wi-Fi. In this case, it is powered by USB, really easily, because I only have to connect it to our computer to power it. You see that I have power, and now it would be as simple as connecting it to another mouth. And what I just created now is a local Wi-Fi network that obviously in this room will work very well because mobile phones and other devices will not have any type of architectural barrier or any type of interference to connect to this Wi-Fi. And you already have cable to reach the connection offered by our provider. Well, at this point, we have to say goodbye. I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank Jordy for his help. And you've already seen that installing plastic optical fiber in the home is very easy, very easy. And everyone can do it to have the best internet connection. If you have any questions or queries or comments, I'll leave you a link in the description. And if you liked the video, you can give us a like. And I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Thanks a lot.